What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Nastro Diecast review here today. This is Jack Specky here in Season number 4 of another Nastro Diecast review. Having some older cars and we got two 2019 Nastro Diecasts we got for you guys. Austin Dillon and Alex Bowman. Here they are right over here. And alongside of them is Matt Kenseth and Rick Mast. Uh, Rick Mast from 2000, Matt Kenseth from, two th uh, from 2018, and a Jeff Gordon from 2004. And uh, I'm going to have a little bit to talk about basically about the 2019 Astro Diecast I bought at the track. And uh, I'll actually show you another thing I bought the racetrack. It's a shirt. I actually have my claws. I'm going to go get that out. But we're going to go in the Astro Diecast review now. And let's get this thing started up. So here's the first Diecast I have out of five I have here. This is a 2000 Rick Mass Concepco Pontiac Grand Prix. What a nice Diecast this is. And this is a, something a little bit different than Lionel, or something a little bit different in action. This is Team Caliber, which this is this brand of diecast absolutely um, was a competitor of action, or else Lionel back in 2000 in those days. And really, these diecasts—they are so awesome. Check this out. The bodies were able to come off every time, and this is actually an owner series die cast. I have this uh, certificate of authenticity here, actually, I'm going to show you, and this is it. Uh, they actually made, um, oh, I don't know if you can see it. Sorry. Um, they made one out of 7,560 of these cars of Rick Mass. That's actually a whole lot of die cast for Rick Mass. Um, but here is the. Front of the car, what a nice die cast this is. Um, this was really the competitor die cast, uh, you know, against Lionel. And actually, Racing Champions was also part of it as well, so I'm not going to count them out. So, uh, here's the front side of the car, and what a beautiful Pontiac Grand Prix this is. Um, and here is the left side of the car, the roof. The deck one in the back of the car. Uh, I'm basically going to do this. It's just Conseco in there if you guys couldn't see it very well. But there is the right side, same side of the car as the left. And we're going to go move on to the next car. We're going to go to the 2004 Jeff Gordon um, Winter Circle card I have, which is an Auto Club win, but it's not necessarily race detailed. So, on to that car. So here is the 2004 Jeff Gordon Auto Club win car, which is not necessarily a raced version, actually. It's just a 2004 Jeff Gordon car. Um, and this is what you get with it. This is actually a sticker, by the way. Here, it doesn't want to focus out. Let me focus back in. So now we're going to go on to the die cast. This is really the childhood memories, I should say. I was three years old, mostly in 2004, until I turned four years old in 2004 on December 31st of that year uh, at 9 o'clock at night. And um, this, the childhood memory. Um, here's the front side of the car with the flames. You guys pretty much know this die cast. I know about it ever since. Beautiful die cast. So you're going to go to the left side of the car. The roof. The back end of the deck lid there. We're going to show you guys the deck lid right there. It says um, the miracles of science in the back. Uh, if you guys do not know what that was. Uh, and here is the right side of the car. Same side as the left. And that is technically it for Jeff Gordon. We're going to go on to the 2018 Matt Kenseth. Wyndham Resorts. Or Wyndham Rewards car rather. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and jump into that die cast. Erica Step in the Double E Cup Series. This one's for you, bud. So, this is the 2018 Matt Kenseth Win the Rewards Ford from Roush Foy Racing. And this is the car that actually debuted from Kansas and all the way and several of other races. Matt Kenseth uh, ran this race car and actually won a stage with it in Indianapolis. So, it does not take a top tier team to actually win something. So, it really takes the driver. And uh, I got this car actually for $5 if you guys could see it. But uh, yeah, $5 I got the car for. That's pretty awesome. I got it at a Gypsy Tits so as well with the Rick Mass and Jeff Gordon. Um, so here is Matt Kenseth's car. We're going to go to the front side of the car with the Ford Fusion nose. Uh, if you guys basically see it, 
I guess you guys can. Left side of the car, very, very nice of how the white and the blue fade there. Really, really nice. It kind of reminds me of Mark Martin's Viagra car. Um, just kind of how it goes back, the colors and everything. And then here is, that was the left side. Here is the roof of the die cast. There is the back side of the car with the deck lid in the back. I don't know if you guys can really possibly see it. But, um, had to win the, win the rewards on it if you couldn't quite see it. Uh, I know my thumb was actually blocking because I was trying to show you the deck lid up at the car. But, um, there is the right side of the car, same side as the left. And that is it for Matt Kenseth. On to the 2019 NASCAR diecast with Austin Dillon and Alex Bowman. And, uh, and possibly a little rant at the end of it. So the next diecast I have is Austin Dillon's Dallas Chevrolet for this year for 2019. And we're going to go into the car now as we do. And, uh... And here we go. So here is the front of the car. We got Dell. Uh, some things actually changed with this die cast. Kind of the red and the black actually changed the red a little bit. Uh, we got more of kind of, uh, of a more of a paint scheme uh, than we had last year. So here is that with the front of the car with the Camaro nose. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. But here is the left side of the die cast. That's basically what I was talking about right there. Then here is the uh, roof of the die cast there. Here's the deck on the back. They both say Dow on the back. And here is the right side of the car, same size left. And that is it for Austin Dillon. We're going to go on to the next car. We got Alex Bowman's Vavilene Chevrolet. I was actually anticipating to basically wait for the uh, nationwide car, but I decided to go get it and said, why not? So now we're going to review that. That's what I cast now. So here's the shirt I actually going to be showing you guys. I decided guys, to just kind of take a little bit of a break basically for die cast. I decided guys, to show you the shirt I have. This is the Monster Dynastic Cup Series shirt. I actually uh, I wasn't necessarily looking for this one in particular, but very, very nice. It's uh, a long sleeve shirt. It's got the uh, NASCAR logo on there, by the way, which is that. And it has it on both sides. Very, very cool with the, uh, with the Monster Energy green colors. There is the back. It's kind of like the same like side. But um, there it is there, and now we're to go into the NASA die cast of Alex Bowman. So here's the final car I got, which is Alex Bowman's 2019 Valvoline Chevrolet from Hunting Motorsports. What a nice die cast this is. This car was actually, uh, I believe, canceled for 2018 die cast. So but now we're to go into the 2019 with something a little bit fresh for Alex Bowman. Uh, here is the uh, front side of the car, uh, which... This kind of reminds me of Mark Martin's die cast or something kind of equivalent to Johnny Benson back in 2001. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, we get to see this, these colors once again on the race car. Here is the left side of the die cast. It somewhat reminds me a little bit of Mark Martin back in 1997 and such. And a little bit of 1998 with it. So, very, very nice. And here is the roof of the die cast here. Uh, there's a deck in the back. It's got a black, uh, in, uh, black uh, back end of the die cast is black. And here is the right side of the car, same size as the left. And um, I'm going to go in a little bit of rain here basically for uh, a couple minutes because i got to basically show you guys these receipts. I'm going to go move these cars back. But I'm going to go show you guys these receipts really quickly. Um, so... A little bit of rant going on right now. Uh, if you guys are at the racetrack and buying die cast, um, this is what I have for Austin Dillon, which um, I'm going to tell you the price basically for both. Um, they were $10. And I'm absolutely kind of stunned because it kind of goes back uh, to what NASA die cast were selling for back in the, you know, the, uh, the 1990s. I'm going to go grab something really quickly. And it's a Dale Hart die cast. From 2000, it's a Tasmania car, and the and the price, um, it says ten dollars in there. I don't know if you guys were able to see it. Um, maybe I can. Well, never mind. But it's uh, it's ten dollars if you guys actually can see it now. I actually put it a little bit further back, but ten dollars as it was. Um. Like, yeah, that's how much they're selling them now. And it's pretty ridiculous because 
online now on the website and whatnot, uh, is seven ninety nine a die cast. And I don't know how this is uh, with you know with, with selling die cast at the track. I don't know if Lionel actually or Fanatics or anything like that uh, officiate with die casts and such like that, selling them for that price. But um, for Alex Bowman, I, I it was uh, ten no no uh, no it was ten eighty two for Austin Dillon. Uh, with the tax, well, it was ten dollars with the tax, which made it ten eighty two. Alex Bowman was just ten dollars. I had to pay twenty dollars in cash, and it's pretty ridiculous of how that was. Um, just uh, be aware of what you're buying at the racetrack because it's getting really out of hand, and uh, so that's my little rip message for you guys. Um, I really think that dies and that's what I cast at the track should be seven ninety nine, and so as well as the website. Uh, both prices there for $7.99. I think it's just ridiculous basically if you go $10.99 on $10, not not $10.99, but excuse me, $10 at the racetrack. It's pretty ridiculous. It should be basically the same price drawn out as it is. Uh, but that's my little rant for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this Nastro Diecast review. And if you guys um, if you guys did, make sure you guys like and comment, subscribe. I got more Nastro Diecast reviews com uh, reviews videos coming out, and also as well. Um, I might put some other content in there maybe uh, as school is starting to wind down um, and stuff like that. Um, so thank you guys for watching and uh, I'd like to basically say to you guys keep on fighting a good fight because God's got a plan for you guys' lives if you guys believe. And um, signing out.